evening YouTube. So I thought I'd been, well, I've been into this video for about six, eight months, which is how long I've owned the car. And I should have started from the beginning, sort of done like a Adam Iville take off and done sort of Iggy Diaries. So yeah, this is my Iggy. Uh, paid 500 quid for it. It's I don't know if you can tell, it's about 15 different shades of red, but in pictures it always looks really shiny. Um, I'll give you a quick walk around, and then what I've planned to do with these videos is instead of just like one big, long, stupid, long video and just cover everything I've done, kind of break it down into sections and cover little bits that talk about bits that I've done and why I've done it, how much it's cost me, what benefits I've seen, or what benefits I think I've seen, and uh, yeah, just convince you that these are good little awesome cars. You don't need to go out and buy a Clio Sport and chuck three grand into it, just have a little, a good, well, a little good track weapon. So, I did one track day, um, I've done a few mods to it already, but one thing I hadn't really done or addressed was proper track tyres and brakes. So, the original wheels it comes with some Enkies, which are great because they're really, really lightweight, um, and put a set of Pirelli PS3s on which were great tyres, like I say it was on standard brakes and after a few laps they didn't start getting a bit of brake fade uh, even though the tyres were great they were a bit squirmy so the first mods after that track we did is picks up some BBS wheels which are slightly wider offset than what the Enkies were I think these are the HJs um, put some Toyo Proxy R888s on which are just awesome they are just sticky you, you, you struggle to to lose it with them on. Even in cold, these tyres are fantastic. I uh, changed all the discs and pads, went for some decent Brembos, did the... Thank you. Changed the pads to some more track orientated pads, so we went for some EBC green stuff pads front and back, so we went for Brembo pads, stripped and rebuilt all the calipers just to make sure they were bob on. We put some Hell brake lines on just to get rid of the brake fade I got. Upgraded the upgraded, upgraded the brake fluid just to make sure we've got some high temperature fluid in there. And then I don't know if these this is actually gonna do anything, but the two ducks at the front, it's not the red ones, but they're the bottom ones. Um quite a bit old school and so let's zoom in and have a look. From the front rung some duct in from that inlet there and it just runs right to the back of the brake disc um, it's about a three inch pipe so if you think at speed it's going to put quite a bit of air to there I removed the back of the sort of dust cover on the disc just to let all the air in um, you know I don't know if it'll work I don't know if it'll do well but you know it's just one of the little mods we do in this garage thinking all oh, it cost me something like 20 quid eBay specials So, just to recap, that's basically what we've done, wheels and tyres. Um, hopefully when lockdown's finished, we can get this back on track and actually see if the little modifications we've done, wheels and tyres, actually helps. Because what I want to do is go back to the same track, which I filmed on my GoPro, and try and compare some laps. Um, there's a few other mods I've done which I'll touch on. I'm the busiest lay-by ever. There's a few other mods that I'll touch on in other videos which we've upgraded because everything's been changed, you know, all the suspension, all the bushes, I had a little mess with the engine, uh, I totally stripped the interior out. So any Iggy owners will know or I've read the claims that you can get anywhere between, I don't know, 1500 kilograms weight saving depending on how much and what you take out. But yeah, let's have a quick look, so, I don't know if you can see in there. Interior's fully stripped out. Uh, I am going to put a cage in, because <laughs> it is a tin box, but I'll touch that on another video, because I've got yet to fit that. So, uh, thanks again. Thanks for watching. Uh, please like and subscribe, give me some comments, give me some stick, take the piss. Uh, yeah, thanks again. Bye-bye.